Hello friends, it's Caddy, and I am back with a layout for the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. Uh, so for this week, I am scrapbooking a photo of my son. This is my younger son, Ryan, when he turned two. This is an old picture. This is back from 2009, so it's pretty old, <laughs> but I hadn't scrapped it. And it is a profile shot of him. The picture itself is not the greatest. It's a little bit um, out of focus or blurry. But I still love it, and I don't have a lot of great pictures from that day, so um, so this is what I have, and then this is what I'm going to scrap. So for these doilies, these are the doilies from the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop, the white doilies, the, I think they're the 4-inch doilies. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of mask off half of the doily, and then I'm going to spray it with some spray mist. Now the spray mist that I am using um, are two of the Dilutions colors. That darker one right there that I'm spraying is the Vibrant Turquoise from Dilutions. And then uh, the next one I'm going to use is the Tim Holtz, uh, the Distressed uh, Stain, which is the Cracked Pistachio. The last one I will use is also Dilutions, and it is um, London Blue. Now, in the shop, in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop, Jody is carrying the Shimmers sprays now, which would give you the same effect, which would be awesome to try. I'm actually I'm hoping to get some soon. I'm going to be uh, placing an order very soon with her. So um, I'm dying to try them out because I haven't tried any of them out. So I know I love the shimmers, uh, the dazzlers, the, the texture paste you guys see me use all the time. Um, but I haven't tried the shimmers uh, sprays. So I'm excited for that. So this last one here is London Blue. And my nails were blue for quite a while. <laughs> that Dilutions paint really sticks. I probably should have put on some gloves. Um, I ended up with uh, blue nails for for uh, um, for a while. <laughs> I had to wash my hands quite a few times, and it still didn't come off. So I'm just doing half of them. Some of them I will go in and paint the other half with an opposite color. So um, I'll do that for most of them, and then a couple of them I will leave just white. And this, and I'll do the same thing to paint the other half. I just mask off the side that's already painted with a piece of paper, and then just spray on the other side. So then I'm going to take this stencil. This is a stencil by the Crafters Workshop. It is called Cosmic Bubbles. It's a 12 by 12 stencil. And there's some of that Shimmers a product from the shop, which is awesome. And this is in the color, it's called C, like C, like the ocean, S-E-A. See you in the morning. And it's this gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's like a minty green color. And it's beautiful. I love it. And of course, the shimmer that it has is just amazing. So I'm going to just um, use it in some areas. I'm not going to go over the whole stencil. This is just going to be kind of where my doilies are, um, like just peeking out of the doilies. And some of them will get covered, some of these circles, but I'm okay with that. But some of them do show through. So I am just adding a few circles here with my stencil and my shimmers. So this is a lot of fun. Now remember, if you guys want to make any purchases in the store in Jody's shop, I'm going to have a link to her below. If you use my code, which is CADDY15, you get 15% off. So you can try some of these products, some of these Shimmers products, the sprays, which I know are going to be so fun. Or uh, she has stencils now. She has a Kaiser Craft stencil. She has several things coming in, and she always has new things coming in to the store. So make sure you check it out. And uh, if you are going to make a purchase, just use my code and get a nice discount. So I did let that shimmers dry, and now I'm taking the doilies, and you can see there are the ones that I painted the halves, um, so I did go back and paint them. Um, and I'm just kind of placing them, just arranging them, sort of going on a diagonal on the page, and just kind of playing with them until I get something that I like. So that's what I'm doing here, and then once I kind of get something that I like, I'm going to start adhering them, and I'm going to use this foam mounting tape just to give them a little bit of texture, just to pop off the page a little bit. So that's what I'm doing, just using some foam uh, mounting tape. And I'm not going to make you watch me adhere all of these doilies. <laughs> so don't worry. And I'm um, going to go ahead and just adhere them down. And then there I came back, and they were all adhered. So that one I decided to just move. The top ones I will end up moving down a little bit. You'll see me move one of them, but I will move the one all the way at the top left down to just... Uh, map my photo because I do map my photo on a uh, diagonal stripe sort of like faux cork paper which you don't see me do on camera I do that off camera but I just map it onto that paper which is a paper from the craft market collection from crate paper so I'm taking some glue this is just scotch quick dry adhesive in my fine line bottle and I'm taking some of these awesome um, sequin stars which are the really tiny ones 
and they are called gold stardust you can get those in the shop as well and they're awesome so I just uh, just drew a line down the center of my doily kind of where the colors meet and um, and I'm just using the stars just to add some more fun and shimmer to the to the layout even though it's a boy layout it can still be fun and shimmery right so I'm using shimmer and doilies on a boy layout <laughs> who says you can't do that right um, and I love how it turned out so it's a lot of fun it's a fun layout so um, you kind of have to do like a really thin um, layer of the glue on the first three I did a bit of a chunkier um, like a thicker line and then I got too many stars on there so I mean if you have way too many then you can't even tell they're stars so so I just I will kind of tap it to get some of them off and then once it dries I will go back and just kind of flick it with my finger just so that it, it'll get rid of any excess stars because you know I want it to show that they are stars <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here and you know the best thing to do in this case is just wait for it to dry and then you know kind of flick off any stars that are that are kind of uh, extra on the on the uh, page so then I take my same fine line bottle with the adhesive with the quick dry adhesive and then I'm just adding little dots um, of glue here and there and I am going to go in and add some sequins to that so um, I will just add a few of those same sequins with my tweezers I'm just going to add um, the sequins to that and just add a little extra just like kind of uh, as if those were kind of kind of fell off the the center or, or whatever <laughs> so that's just what I'm doing here um, uh, there are a couple things that you guys won't see me do on camera as well um, I will also add some tangled thread just in like a blue color the same as that as that uh, blue on the doilies I will add some tangled thread in a couple areas so that I do off camera as well um, I add the border as well which you guys won't see me do that and this just happens because after I turn off the camera I'm like okay it needs something else <laughs> and then I'm too lazy to turn the camera back on so yeah that's me so <laughs> I'm adding my photo on just a black really thin black mortar uh, border I planned on adding some paper from that Kaiser craft paper pad that you see to my left it's from the shop but um, I just it kind of fit perfectly between those two um, rows of glitter of the glitter stars so I kind of I said you know what I'm not gonna mat it because if I mat it then it's gonna cover the stars so I just let it be and I just matted it on black so that it could pop out a little bit more I like to do that I like to um, mat things on black because it makes them pop a whole lot and there I am looking through that paper pad the one thing I do pull out is a little sticker or it's not a sticker it's like one of those cut aparts except it's like it has like the perforation so you can kind of punch it out of the sheet and it says happy birthday and I'm gonna use that and then I'm gonna see um, how I want to use my title or how I want to do my title I thought about writing out happy um, happy today is what I think I thought originally and then I thought about happy birthday to you um, so that's what I, I'm gonna end up with and I'm gonna use that little um, happy birthday cut apart to um, as part of my title so it's gonna be happy birthday to you and then I cut off the two from the today and I thought I was gonna use that but it was just too much um, of a big of a difference from the size of the U it was bigger so I didn't really like how it looked um, it just wasn't pleasing to the eye at least not to my eye <laughs> so I won't use that and then I was gonna use this U um, that love circle I try to use a couple times but it doesn't make it on the layout <laughs> I was gonna use this U right here which I have which is like that minty green color and that's just sitting in my stash but um, I do glue it down and then I remove it because it just wasn't standing out enough so I go into my stash of wood, well one of my stashes of wood veneer <laughs> I have two of these and um, I'm looking for a number two um, and I did not find a number two so I need to buy wood veneer numbers or maybe I just need to use my wood veneer <laughs> yeah I think I need to use my wood veneer I have I just hoard it I really love wood veneer it's awesome there's a lot of wood veneer in the shop too um, in Jody's shop she has a ton of wood veneer and I have some of that as well which I also hoard so um, yeah <laughs> I'm a wood veneer hoarder what can I say so I take these numbers, these are from Thickers, and those are called sprinkles, and it's white glittery. And so I take the 
I wanted to paint it because obviously it was going to be on top of a white doily and it wasn't going to stand out. So I wanted to paint it the blue color. So I take the London blue from um, Dilutions and in the end it doesn't it doesn't turn out the color that I wanted it to. It um, kind of seeped into the thicker and it just became like a lighter blue and it just wasn't what I wanted. So in the end what I will do um, after I soak that uh, number with paint, <laughs> with Dilutions paint, is I will go in with a um, an acrylic paint, um, which is just in a blue color and a similar blue color, and it is from Apple Barrel, which is from Walmart, and the color is just bright blue, and um, and it just kind of I just took it a little bit of paint with my finger and I just dabbed it on the number and I just painted it. It did take away most of the glitter, obviously in the shimmer, but that's okay. I think I have enough shimmer on this layout. So um, in the end, that's what I use. So I am uh, adding some splatters with black India ink, and um, and the ones at the bottom there, I kind of they kind of came out a little bit messy. So I will cover them up because <laughs> I I don't like my splatters to be messy. <laughs> so um, basically, I am just adding a few finishing touches. I'm adding some of these cork stars. These are the chunky cork stars from the shop. And I am using those in three areas on the layout. And I'm just putting them down with glue dots, which is the same thing I used to get my uh, sequins down. So that is just going to go in there. I go covering one of those messy um, little splatters with that. So I'm just moving. I'm going to move my doily down, and I will move both. I'll move that one and the top one so that I can uh, cut around my page and then map my whole page on a uh, border, on a diagonal stripe border. So I will move those down. And uh, basically, yeah, so I add some twine, I add the border. Um, I do add a, a heart from my stash, uh, like a mint green and gold heart from my stash. I couldn't tell you what collection it's from. It's been in my stash. And that U, I'm going to remove, and I'm going to use the uh, gold U, because that U wasn't standing out um, either. So just a few little adjustments. So here I am soaking that number again. In the end, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use it. I will go ahead and just paint it with acrylic paint. So I will add some sequins as well from the Magical Ocean sequin pack from the shop, which are like a darker blue color. And I will add those, I'll sprinkle those around the page as well, and I do uh, do that off camera as well. So, yeah, so just a few things I do off camera, it's just because I'm lazy and I don't turn on the camera when I'm doing that. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Um, here are a few close-up shots for you. If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them below. Yeah, make sure you check out the Spico Mom Scrap Shop. Remember, use code CADDY15 and get 15% off your order. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye.